hepatitis in simple term is there is inflammation of the liver it can be caused by viruses like hepatitis a virus b c d and e other causes include when the fat get deposited in the liver what we call as non alcoholic fatty liver disease we are seeing a huge rise in the number of non alcoholic fatty liver disease in the last one decade other causes include alcohol certain drugs and very rarely metabolic disorders like wilson's disease hemochromatosis autoimmune hepatitis all can cause hepatitis today we will be discussing about viral hepatitis viral hepatitis hepatitis a and e are caused by contaminated food and water these subset of patients got an excellent prognosis they recover completely with minimal treatment however less than 1% of the patients can go for complication and result in acute liver failure and they may require liver transplantation on the other hand hepatitis b and c are transmitted by blood and blood products like commonly from the mother to child unprotected sex body tattooing using unsterilized surgical instruments these subset of patients in case of hepatitis b they can have two variants either in the acute phase or a chronic asymptomatic or a complicated phase in acute hepatitis b these patients will have features of jaundice myalgia and they can recover completely however some patients go in for chronic stage when the virus persists in their body for more than 6 months they can have recurrent infection or inflammation of the liver which result in scarring or what we call as cirrhosis of liver so it becomes very important to uh, stage a patient in which category the hepatitis b infection is and treat accordingly however in case of hepatitis c most of the patients may be asymptomatic and they may be finding this only once they reach the complicated stage or a cirrhotic phase so it becomes more important to uh, test them and see what level what their viral load is because they may be transmitting the disease to others for hepatitis b they have got excellent drugs which are available which can control the virus spread and there are active vaccination which can prevent the infection from a patient to others in case of hepatitis c there are strong medicines which can completely cure the disease every year july 28th we celebrate as world hepatitis day this is in remembrance of the famous physician dr samuel blumberg for his for his work for hepatitis b he not only found out the hepatitis b virus but also he made sure there's an effective testing and also an effective vaccine against it he was awarded nobel prize in 1976 for his excellent work every year we have got a theme for world hepatitis this year our theme is i can't wait i can't wait to get tested i can't wait to get treated and i can't wait to spread this awareness to everyone so let us join together and spread this awareness about viral hepatitis thank and you now we can stop hepatitis shortening the lives of another generation together we can make it happen hepatitis can't wait